Hello everyone. Uh, this will be a little bit different of a video than I normally do. I am sitting inside my car. Uh, I have a 2004 Toyota Camry. And what I'm going to do in a future video is uh, replace this radio. Uh, this radio still works. Uh, the problem is, is that the volume control right here kind of has a mind of its own. I think the contacts behind the switch is either dirty or bad. Uh, a lot of times I'll be driving and the radio, the volume will just kind of go up and down. And sometimes this doesn't even work. It won't turn it up or down. Uh, also, what I'm going to add is I am going to add a uh, uh, an amp and a subwoofer. Nothing too crazy. Uh, a coworker of mine sold me a an amp and a little 12 inch subwoofer in a box. So I'll be uh, putting that in too in a future video. So what I'm going to do is replace the that radio with this little Kenwood radio right here. Uh, I've had this radio in probably two different cars now. This radio is probably about 10 years old. It does have a CD player and it actually has an aux auxiliary input. Uh, it does not have Bluetooth. I'm not too worried about that. I still, I'm one of the old school guys. I still listen to CDs. Uh, what I am doing is I am waiting on a installation kit that goes around here that I can install this radio into. Also, I ordered a amp wiring kit that is going to be here in a couple of days. So it'll be nice to have a nice upgraded stereo in here. Uh, this, this was a pretty decent stereo. It, uh... Uh, back in the early 2000s, Toyota still liked to uh, have radios with a CD player and a, and a cassette deck as well. Believe it or not, the cassette player still works just fine. It's a little noisy. So anyway, that is a look at this real quick. And like I said, in a future video, I'll show this installed. And then I'll probably show a video of my amp and my sub. So until next time... Uh, if you like my content, go ahead and click, click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.